the fish are here. Let's go. So usually I like to go and get the fish myself from the store. Um, but this time around, I really didn't have time to go. I would have to go to Georgia. I don't really have time to go. So I ordered online from um, Live Aquaria. And I did get something before from them, um, but not in the winter. And it came in this box. Packaging was fine. I mean, it was like, it was nicely packaged, but they could have added maybe another heat warmer or whatever these things are called. Cause this thing is not, it wasn't even cold. And it was, um, they do overnight. So that's my only concern. The fish seem like they're doing fine. They've been in here for about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna acclimate them to the water now and get these guys in the tank. using innovative marine accu drip to acclimate these guys so so that's pretty cool you just kind of pump the water and then you can adjust takes a few tries there we go and then you could see Okay, so then you could just adjust how fast. We just want a slow drip. Just like that. Like that. About 30 minutes, 30 minutes should do the trick. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good. All right, let me situate this. All right, we got the drip acclimator set now. Good. Run this for another 20 minutes. And don't rush this process. You gotta let these guys adjust to your parameters in your water. So they just travel, don't stress them out. Be calm on this. I know everyone wants to just like throw them in the tank. I did that before. Big regrets. So QT tank, two weeks. And hopefully there's no outbreak of anything and they can just go to their new home. Got some, I just started mixing this this morning. Uh, just mix 15 gallons, fresh, heated. Uh, it's up to 78. So I'm ready to go. I just need some more RO water. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Here's the thing that no one told me before. So depends on depending on how much water like you're acclimating the fish to. Like this is salt water that's coming out of your tank that you're not gonna be using. So definitely don't put this back in your tank. Um, so don't just put your ATO and just let it fill with uh, fresh RO water. So like usually when you do this, shut your ATO off. This goes for your main display too. Shut it off and then once you're done with this, add salt water to top it off. Don't pop this thing back on and let RO water your salinity is gonna go out of whack. So that's only like if you're doing a lot. If it's a little bit, it might not fluctuate much, but just keep that in mind. And I always shut this off, always. Even like when um, you see on like videos and stuff, people are just like taking tank water, like a bunch of tank water. And put it, I'm like, no, you gotta replenish that. So not with the RO water, with salt water. So keep that in mind. All right, let's get these guys in here. I don't have a net right now, so I'm just gonna Scoop them up. Hopefully, you don't get them. Uh oh, there we go. It's the first guy. This one seems like a little, seems a little weak. The 
one that's more white looks a lot bigger than the other one. I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't, you see like that bluish? I'm trying to focus in on them. You see that? I've never seen that, so I have to Google that. I don't know what's going on there. To what side? That that is why we quarantine, right? To make sure everything is good. Check it out. This fin is up. Stressed out. Hope not. Get comfortable, man. Get comfortable. There you have it, guys. First two clowns in the tank, in the quarantine tank. So. I'm gonna, I'll do update videos and see how it's going for the next two weeks and hopefully they eat and no signs of diseases. I'm gonna do some water changes and keep you guys posted. Wish me luck.